Yo, what's good? It's the urban legend, K Bird, KG USA, all day in the building. Today, I'm gonna be doing a review on spin ups. If you haven't heard of spin ups, it's a music distribution company, spin ups. About to put you on some motherfucking free game about spin ups. So let's get into it. Spin ups is one of the only companies that actually is owned by a record label. They owned by Universal Music Group. They got a full partnership with them. They co-signed by them, everything. So that's kind of rare that they actually are a record company slash music distribution, but it's all controlled by Universal Music Group. Their prices is not that bad too, man. And with all their uploads and all your music that you distribute through them, you get full 100% ownership, no percentage. No 5%, no 10%, no 15%. You own everything that you distribute through them. Their prices are $10 per single, $20 per EP, and $40 per album. But that only give you one year. It's like a subscription. You get one year with that shit being live, and then you gotta pay a renewal fee. But you own all your shit, you move it like a label, you can put all your names down, your company name, you can have multiple artists, all of that shit. So that's kind of a good thing. But the bad thing is they only get your shit to 13 stores, only 13 stores. And one of those stores that they don't get it to is Our Heart Media. And Our Heart Media is a pretty big store, you know what I mean, for online music. So that's one bad thing I gotta say. Only 13 stores, and one of those 13 stores is not iHeartMedia. So, think about it. Another bad thing is they do nothing with YouTube. No YouTube content ID, no distributing your YouTube video, no distributing your song on YouTube. You know what I mean? They don't do nothing with YouTube. No involvement with YouTube at all. So that's kind of big, because everybody doing music right now know that fucking YouTube is the main place motherfuckers go to listen to music. Because if they ain't got no streaming platform, if they ain't paying no monthly plan for a streaming platform, YouTube is the place most people consume their music. So truth be told, Spinups is a cool company and they got the co-sign from the label. So it might be smart to do music with them, smart to put your music out with them, but I also think that they bullshitting about a lot of the shit they offer. They're saying that they got the label co-signing and they're saying that they can definitely get you signed. That's the way that they're enticing everybody to come to their site. As Soon as you go to the spin-up site, it's gonna say the shit about them being involved with Universal Music Group, which could be true, but at the same time, it could be a lot of red tape with that shit. Pretty much, it's no guarantees. That's what I'm saying. No guarantees. So ain't no guarantee that just because you put music up there with spin-up, you're gonna get a record deal. From what they say, they got all these different sort of criteria you gotta meet. So if you're getting streams and you're independent artists and you're doing pretty decent numbers, they're pretty much saying that they wanna scoop you up before you get noticed by any other label and give you a contract. But the flip side to that shit is that if your music getting streamed, even if it's on damn SoundCloud, that Piff, Spinderella, if people are fucking with your music, the label's gonna come anyway regardless of what, so even if you use them or not, they're eventually gonna come if they base off that criteria, because most people, most labels, most companies out there right now, all they is trying to get the hot thing fast, trying to find a new trend. So as soon as they see that new trend doing numbers, they're gonna come in and try to offer you a contract to lock you in. But in this day and age, man, you don't really need the fucking label, man. You really don't. You can do everything the label can do by yourself. And you ain't gonna be in debt with thousands of dollars on everybody, letting everybody get a piece of your fucking pie. You know what I mean? But having a deal is good because you got somebody that's investing in you, somebody that's giving you a budget, somebody that's putting money up into your dream and your goal just like you. So having a label could be good for certain reasons, but every situation is different. If you get a label and they give you some access and they go give you that extra exposure, it might be cool to do a single with the label or do an album with the label, but always think to break off so you can be self-efficient, self-reliant, so you can get everything yourself, you know what I mean? 
for you. That's what you did the shit. You did the music. Nobody been in the gym shooting with you. That's how I look at it. You put in the hard work, your shit start taking off, people start vibing with you. You need to be getting 100%. You don't need to be getting a percentage and you don't need to be damn having the label damn telling you how to put out your music and what music to put out. Cause you know the label with that popcorn shit right now, especially man, they doing a lot of, they promoting a lot of fucking bullshit on the radio, a lot of strap, a lot of stripper rap, you know what I mean? A lot of commercial shit right now, so. If you don't want to be told what kind of music to make and what kind of shit to make it for and what your listeners need to hear, you need to stay independent, man. Independent is the way to be because you being your own boss and you taking full control of your art and your creative direction. So it might be cool to fuck with Spin Up and it might not be. Me personally, I'm not because I got other people and other companies that I'm locked in with. But this is a decent company. But I think the record label shit that they're talking about, the record label shit they're pumping the most on their website, the reason they're enticing people to come in, it might be good, but then it might be, you know what I mean, a little fucking cap. So you got to look out for that, you know what I mean? Nothing to me sounds like I should really go and fuck with them on top unless I'm trying to look for a record deal. So if you're trying to look for a record deal, I guess this is going to be the best move to make. But if you want to stay independent, there's better options out there. So, it's your boy, K to the fucking bird, KGUSA all day. And this is my music review on spin ups. I'm out. <laughs>